foldy, foldy, foldy. It looks like a banana at first. But it's not. Wow, that's incredibly quiet. But you know what? Um, that's what I have to deal with when using... I don't know. Hello everybody, this is Best Moth here, and welcome back to Paper Mario the Origami King. Let's go back into this from our other save file, because I, I definitely didn't play this in my spare time. What? No. You're, you're crazy. You're just... No. Also, apologies for the other bit being cut off, because you know what? It, it got cut off. Maybe I should have the audio up, so I can react to stuff. Uh, I'm gonna turn up just a little bit. Don't worry, I, I got it. Why didn't I do this in all the other tests? Because it's it's traditional at this point. Oh, that's a little too loud. Dang it! Why can't I have a remote that works? Whatever. That works. That works. Good. Why don't I just test audio, like gameplay, like that? Uh, how much confetti do we have? We have a good amount. No, now it's full. All right. Welcome back to Paper Mario: The Origami King, everybody. Um, where we last left off, we got blown out of the castle. Actually, no, we didn't. We we flew out because Psy Guy decided to save Bowser instead of us. He was like, "Ah, uh, you know what? Let's not save Luigi." And then Mario's like, "Okay, cool. I don't want to save Luigi." He's like, "I don't really feel like I want to save Luigi." Today. And then Psy Guy's like, "All right, all right, fine. You want to be like that? Don't even care about your own brother." Well, you know what? I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save Bowser instead. He's just hitting stuff. Why is he doing that? It's a nice hammer, though. Not very green of him, like Luigi. Luigi would never hit something with his hammer. He probably would, but then he'd like instantly regret it. Cause like that's Luigi. I forgot why we're supposed to be doing this. Um, filling up holes. I think there's actually a good reason to do it. Something here? No. Okay, we're not gonna be dawdling too much because. Uh, I already got back- I got through this part in my playthrough. And yes, I did play through this. So, we're playing it on a channel and we're playing it on here- t on- I played it myself and I- and I'm playing it on the channel because I want to play it on the channel. I don't want to just leave you guys without it being like, Hey, you guys want me to play Paper Mario on the channel and then not do it? No, you're crazy. Plus, luckily for you, I forgot a lot of what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just kind of running around at this point, I think. But I'm not going to spoil stuff like, Oh yeah, this is the part where I have to do the thing. I, I hit a button with my hammer. And then after that, after that, you know. I forgot a bunch of what happens. I'm just flipping these for now. So, boom, boom. None of these are right. Was that one? There we go. Oh, I got a bag of confetti. Bingo. Not bad. Technically correct. What do you mean technically? I was correct. Is that it? Cool. Bam. Boom. Was it this one? I think it was the other one. Yeah, it was. Is that a good... Oh, it's a shriveled mushroom. You know, the game itself kind of spoils stuff, um, it's like, in itself, so it's like, oh, you gotta put in water to do this thing. What's this? Oh yeah. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give That's good for somewhere. Where am I going? I don't know. I'm running. Oh yeah, that's right. I ran straight into this hole the first time I saw this, and I'm like, that doesn't keep me invincible from that. It's not fair. I guess it's like an introductory star. Faded fire flower. Would watering it restore its power? See, that one's like... Would it restore its power? And it's like, ooh, I wonder. And it's like, oh, there's a lake right over there. Or... Thing of water. Oh, actually... This thing right here just sews it. Boop. Yay, flower went from wilted. Kind of ironic, because, like, everything's made of paper, so don't you think water would ruin anything in paper? Like, that's the thing that I, I, I'm so off-put about in this game. What water is good, and what water is, like, paper water? Because it's, like, there's paper water, then there's, like, like water that's paper, and then it's just... I don't know. Because in Color Splash, there's water that's, like, you know, made of paper, obviously, for the paper aesthetic. This looks like real water, though. Because there's 
Color Splash had paper water, which acted as real water and it like kind of screwed up your colors and stuff if you got touched them. So it seems like a lot of weird stuff is happening. Yep, sure does. And it's like, um... It's, it's paper crafted water that acts like real water. But you got like that over there that looks like real water with like ripples that are made of paper. So it's like, is it like Legos? Like in Lego movie how there's water, but it's made of Legos, but acts as water. And only looks as it for the aesthetic. I don't know. It's really weird. So, that's a bit of uh... That's something to keep you on your toes. Thinking about stuff with the Paper Mario logic. I don't know. Because it's like, you don't fall in water. It won't let you fall in water. Um, at least, like, you know, later through the game, it, whenever you see water, you can't jump in it. Kind of like the same way as whenever there's a cliff. You're just like, whoa, I'm gonna fall in, but then you don't. So, I don't know if it does ruin it or not. Maybe, maybe later in the game you'll see. Um, oh yeah, I gotta fall down. Weird thing. Oh, it's a Dorito! Oh, this Dorito turned into a hand. That's not what I was supposed to do. Okay, see, this mechanic, I think it's cool that you ha Paper Mario has the thousand full arms, but it's like, that's the only time I ever get to use it, which, that's the one thing I don't like about it. I want to be able to get to use them in certain areas, like, I want to feel good about using them. Smash that thing, I don't care what it is. What is it? Just shriveled up seed. Cool. I bet if I put it in that water over there, then it'll be good. For whatever reason, I forgot what I need it for. Just kidding, I never knew what I needed it for. Whoa. Is this good gameplay commentary, guys? Is this what you want? I mean, this area is kind of boring in general. The thing, like, I'm gonna commentate on my opinion. Like, it's just like a little review of everything so far. I like uh, that this game like they're trying all right they're trying to make it like the old games used to be how, how they're all fun and everything because apparently they couldn't oh wait actually we got plot coming up in a bit can i go this way or where do i go i think it just brings us back um apparently it was said that they can't change any characters to make them look unique or whatever because they just can't. They gotta have Mario characters. What do I do? I forgot. This this part I genuinely don't remember what I do. I think you just circle through a couple times. It's just like, oh, we can't go nowhere. Yeah. Uh, does it feel like we're not really getting anywhere? Sometimes when folding gets tough, I like to take a break and clear my head. Yeah, let's go jump on the note to stump. You know, just sit down somewhere nice, flat, with perfect lighting, like that tree stump. What, what voice did I give Olivia again? Hey! Who's there? Who's your room? You can't sit on old Grand Sabby's head, mister. That's right. The elder of this forest... Wait, wait. He's the elder of this forest. So some respect. He's got twigs all in you. Who's your room? So what if he's logged by those nasty little toads? He's still the man, honey. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, darlings. Bless your bark. Young man, go back and tell your flat friends what a state I'm in. I've hardly the hardwood to speak, let alone learn you some manners. <coughs> That's right! Stop, Grand Sappy! No toads allowed! Yeah, I don't like toads either, so we're on the same page, Grand Sappy. All Grand Sappy here has been the same since they cut him down. That's why he's mad at y'all. Flat paper folk cutting down trees. Good trees in their prime. Shame on you! Oh, by the way, if you need Grand Sappy's permission, if you ever need on... Wait, what? <laughs> oh, and by the way, you need Grand Sappy's permission if you ever plan on leaving, hon. So now that you're here, Better get comfy, because you're going to be here forever. Forever? I don't think that... Wait, forever? I think that means a long time. I can't deal with that. Ah, uh, Mr. Grand Sappy, we're not with those flat paper people who did this to you. 
And actually, I'm not even flat paper. I'm origami. Oh, origami, you say? My eyes aren't what they used to be. Well, if you say it's true, then perhaps you may be of some assistance to me. If you can find a way to restore my energy, I may just let you two leave this place. That's so wonderfully generous of you. Truly, I only wish we knew how to restore your energy. Anyway, we're in a hurry ourselves, so we'll do our best to help. I guess if you're going to help Grand Sappy, we'll let you wander around a bit. All the fog's gone, and now it's not the Lost Woods anymore. There you go, child. Now you can go on your merry way and be along the mount- Merry- well, you can- Now you can be on your merry way along the mountain. Just don't go wandering off too far. You gotta- Wait, you gotta find us something called the Soul Seed. They say the only thing that can help old Grand Sappy get his energy back. If that's the only thing to get energy- Blah! They say that's the only thing you can get- can I speak? That's the only thing that will get his energy back. I need to drink water. Luckily for you guys, you can actually hear the game, but I can't because I have it really quiet. I can barely hear it. But whatever. Here's a save point. Jump at it, Mario. We're only at 12 minutes, so that's alright. We're gonna go to 30 minutes because uh, 10 minutes is nowhere near long enough. 30 minutes is pretty good, um, like, to break apart in this game. Oh no! Folded paper soldiers! It's a wave battle! I like how the game kind of lags a little bit in the beginning when it shows I'm running towards the screen. Well, it's been a while since our first battle, hasn't it? Not really. I think, uh, I think I remember how everything works, do you? Let's give it a shot. Alright, so that dude turns right there. All we gotta do is... Okay, alright, seems familiar. He's applying his fold. His soul is up. That's it. His goombas look like he can be arranged in a single line. Remember how to move the rings? Just... I'll let you figure out. Yeah, should've just done that in the first part. Nice work, Mario. If we can do this every time, you'll be good to go. Whoa, you know how attacks work, right? Yep, I played all the other Mario RPG games. Yep, uh-huh. Uh-huh. And that reminds you, Max and Command's right. Press A when you land on them, it does more damage. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty standard stuff. This ain't my first rodeo. This is just like, do like the other Mario RPG games where it's just like, Hey, uh, do you know how to do this stuff? It's like, yeah, okay, I guess I won't waste your time. Oh, more folded soldiers came out of nowhere. When they're like this, you gotta... You gotta rotate it again in those red spots. Then use a hammer. You know, this isn't exactly like the gameplay you guys want to be seeing. Not that you don't want to see it, but like, um, it's interesting. It's pretty simple to get get understanding of. It's like, uh, you know, tutorial type stuff. You want to see, you want to understand how the game works, but it's nothing too crazy. You know, it's like every other paper, any other Mario game ever. That's RPG to style. Action, commands, all that stuff. Super important action command. When enemies are attacking you, press A before you get hit. They don't go over this that well. So he says that, w that one time and that's it. Like, blocking is probably one of the more important things you should know. Um, in these battles. Because if you don't block, it's either like, you know, 14 damage or like 7 damage. Great, it turned into confetti. They're, they're dead now. But you know what, whatever. We kill them, they get, we get confetti. Still though, how are those already folded soldiers this deep into the forest? Do you think they're just going causing around trouble everywhere? I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, that's also another thing, like the folded soldiers got here already, like this far away, and like, you know, disaster just struck like not even that long ago. Um, considering like the timing of gameplay and all. Oh geez, step on him. That's pretty standard stuff. Just jump on him. He's a Goomba. Line him up. It gets a little trickier over time. Ah! Oh no, the spread again. This time you get two chances to, to do it. Because you know it takes two moves. 
That's this is where the real puzzle element gets into it. Later on, like you'll be like, you have only three moves to do this. And it's like you gotta figure all this out and everything. It's crazy. But it's satisfying when you line them up right, like later on when it's like an actual puzzle puzzle type thing. Boots on the ground on Go Goomba's head. Boop. Bam. Bleep. Blah. Oh. I screwed up that last one, but whatever. I was looking into Olivia. Alright. Get out of here. Does this hurt you? No, it just shakes his hair. It's like his hair, really. It makes me wonder, like, does it hurt? I mean, it's colored confetti coming out of him. So, I don't know. It would make more sense if, like, you know, green confetti came out of him because it's his leaves and all. But I guess it's like Paper Mario, how just colors come out. But, I don't know. Or color splash, that's what I meant. Ah, Goomba. Also, once again, not a huge amount of incentive over battling, unfortunately. But, you know, I'm doing because I think, like, you get coins from it, which is pretty good. Which is something I was kind of upset about, you know, because, you know, it, like, there should be incentive to battle. You, like, you shouldn't have to grind a whole lot, but you, you should have incentive. Like, you know, leveling up, or getting something that helps you. I don't know. Oh look, I get two turns. That's great. That way I can get a perfect run. It's like, you have the potential to do a perfect run every time. So, that, I guess that's something I like about it. It makes it feel like almost a little too easy. Um, but I guess like if you're good at it. But like, it's not really hard to be good at it, really. It's pretty fairly simple. So, I don't know if it's just because I'm getting older. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, that was easy. Bam, I got an excellent. I'm just talking without even trying. But pretty much in these battles, like, you have, uh... You have the potential to do a perfect run without any hits, like, on you and taking any damage, which is kind of cool. So I guess, like, if you run into everyone, whenever it gets a little bit harder, then it's like, it really ups it and everything. Alright. It's calm, we're just standing next to it. Now let's throw in that seed into it. Because we saw the other stuff get fixed up and everything, so this will work too. It just blows up. <laughs> ah! You set the forest on fire! How could you do this, Mario? That was incredibly irresponsible to throw in there! Ah! It was more like a Arr! Did you hear that? It might have been old Grand Sappy crying out. He seems pretty feeble when he when we talked to him, but there was no feeble Arr! Oh no! Oh no! Do you think he's okay? We gotta get to him. He's hurt! Erg? I hope he's okay. We gotta go get to him. Something about flowers. Hurry, hurry! I can't handle much more. I'm worried. What happened to the whispering? Why are we all shouting? All of the forest is shouting at me. Everything. I don't know what that last word was. Oh, snap! It's Five Nights at Freddy's. He's turned into his, his metal exoskeleton. Endoskeleton? Oh, dear. I can't look. Poor thing. He's a shell of himself. Hollowed out like some woodshop project gone wrong. I can't believe those horrible things ganged up on old Grand Sappy and did this to him. They... They deserve to be chipped! Uh, Grand Sappy, can you hear us? This doesn't look good. He was already cranky. Or he was already creaky. Now he's downright hollowed out. Oh! I've got an idea. Look closely at Grand Sappy's face. Doesn't it look like one of those holes? Maybe that means you can fix him with confetti. By pressing ZR. Gee, that's exactly what I thought the first time I saw this. I was like, just put some confetti on. Bam. Seems pretty simple enough. And bam, he's back to life for some reason. Huh? What happened? Felt like some rascalibian whittling down on me again. Did I just dream it? I suppose just another memory going downhill. Ah, nuts. Grand Sap is back, y'all. Let's see. Mustache, check. Creepy eyebrows, check. It's Grand Sappy again, alright. Ah, thank you. 
he's still a cell of himself, but better than being a cell of a cell, we've got our precious elder back. Well, he's not hollow anymore, but it does seem like he could still be more energetic somehow. Maybe if we... Huh, do you have something for me? Give him the seed. The little Metroid ball. Yum yum. Just chomp on it. Is it working? How do you feel? It's doing something now. Watch out. Oh, I read that wrong. Are they singing? I can't hear it. <laughs> it's a dance party up in here. I need to raise this. Feeling kind of sappy, it's now like super happy, happy. Feeling big and burly, must have been surly, been you. All sappy singing like the good old days, yeah. Here I go, here I go, here I go. Wow! <laughs> He's dead now. Whatchum! Now he's a full on wispy woods. He's a cactus. Wow, I was not expecting that. Looking good, Grand Sappy. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. That little seed was all it took. Tightened up my timbers and put my funk back in my trunk. I'm young again. I see no need to keep y'all waiting any longer. Unless you want to run through some of that song and dance again. Shrubs, open up the mane for my mustache and his little lady here. You got it, yes sir, blah 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 Shrubs opening. Great, now we can make our way back to Pizza's castle. Let's get a move on Mario. Still pretty worried about your green family. Bye for now, Grand Sappy. I'm glad we could be of service. In we go! Out of here now. Out of the little forest area. Boop, er, boop. Oh yeah, I like this part. It's like, oh, how do we get out of here? Oh, it's this one. Oh, I like this too. Keep out. Unless you want to stay forever. Pretty straightforward, right? Yeah, they made me out of one of Grand Sappy's branches. Reduce, reuse, recycle, I guess. Boop. That's a trick for me. Just to hey, it's Toad. Uh-oh, what's that? Some kind of face, head, hat. Thing is stuck in that shrub. I've got a bad feeling. I'm a Toad! Wait, is that what a Toad looks like? Wow, I was way off. That's because my face is all folded up. Please help me! See, my toad voice is much higher. You gotta help me! I don't care what it takes! Hammer me out of this shrub if you have to! Uh, I could just leave him. Bop! Oh, that was easier. That's marginally better. No, I just need some flattening out, I think. That's how Just a bit more! Yeah! <laughs> I feel like voice cracks. I couldn't even say anything. I'm flat again! Thank you! I don't mean to be rude, Toad, but I have to ask, how did your face end up so bent and wonky? Oh, it's bad! It's real bad! These horrible folded guys sewed up and started folding toes left and right! Most of us got folded I, uh, before we could even tell what was going on! What do they have against toads? It's not fair! Toads have rights! This is toad abuse! Ah! I just traumatized myself! Or I re-traumatized myself! Ah! Sounds like those folded soldiers to me. It must be Br brothers doing. I know we've got a few things on our plate, but you'll help out any toads you find, won't you, Mario? I heard that, and I'm holding you up to an affirmative gesture, Mario! But us toads can help you out in battle, too. If you press Y during a battle, we'll come cheer you on! The more of us you have cheering, the more we can give, the help we can give you. Good things will happen, I promise. Ah. Oh, and we'll charge you a modest fee for cheering. 
Should have uh, mentioned that. Yeah, we're really cheap. Oh, that toad is a shrewd one. But it sounds like it could be a big help if we have him cheer us on battle, don't you think? Let's save as many toads as we can and, uh, and get them the roof for us, Mario. Yeah, I forgot what, what Olivia's voice was like for uh, that I made for her. It's like, she's like the high pitched voice is like, ah, oh, I'm blah, 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 blah. And Toad's like actually really high pitched. Is this a hole? There's a hole. Oh, I need more confetti. Just gotta smack ra random stuff. Uh, what are we at? 26, mi 26 minutes? Ooh, confetti. This is what we needed. I'm not used to switching between voices this quick. Oh, it's Toad. Thanks, Mario! I've been in there a long time, and you know what? Tents don't have bathrooms, right? Or do you know what tents don't have? Bathrooms! Screw you, Goomba. Bop. Oh, here's a real tricky element. Oh no, what do I do? Bam. All lined up. Pretty simple stuff. Once you get later in the game, it's kind of like, gets a little easier. Figuring out some of these simpler ones, or more simple? Is it more simple or simpler? I don't know. Goomba. F you. Can I say that? I think I can say that. I'm trying not to curse as much. Give me all your, your Goomba goodiness. What is that? Is that just a flower? I think it's a flower, yeah. What's your own... Oh, I think, I'm, I think I technically I'm allowed to curse later in the video. Just not like in the beginning of anything. But still, just trying to cut down on it because it's, it's not a good habit. It's like I don't want to be cursing all the time. Alright. Uh, I already got the stuff here. Do do do. Wait, what was that? Do re mi fa so la ti. Don't mind me. And a bench. Boop. Ah, finally a minute to rest. And we got our health restore, even though nothing happened. Hmm. Mario, look at you. You've gone all popped up to prepped. Or you've gone from poop to prepped. I'm so glad. I can't face all those folded soldiers alone. You've re you're really all I've got. So stay rested, okay? When you see a bench, take a break and heal up. Yeah, alright. Well, you know what? I think I'll stop here then. That's a good idea. Bench break. I'll save that toad later. No! Where's that save spot? Whatever. I stopped here. Alright. Well, thanks guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe until the next video. And until then, see you guys.